We've been going further and further into GA4 on this channel now that it is the only free analytics platform from Google. Now, a few weeks ago, I gave a quick overview of how to use explorations in GA4, one of my new favorite tools. If you're interested in that, you can check that out right here. Today, I wanna to go a little further into one of those types of explorations, the segment overlap report. Now, this report is used to compare different groups of users from your GA4 profile and see how they interact with each other. So in this video, I wanna walk through how to set up your first segment overlap exploration and then talk about some ways that you might wanna use it. This Pay Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. We're gonna be in the same client account that we used for the Explorations Overview video, so I can show you how to use the segment overlap just because it has the most data and probably has a better chance of getting a couple better visualizations than some other clients will. So to start creating your first segment overlap exploration, we first need to navigate to the exploration tab, which is gonna be over here in the left-hand navigation under explore. As a quick refresher, you'll remember that all of the reports down here are the explorations that are already built. Everything up here at the top is so you can start a new exploration. You can start from a blank template and then create a tab that is a segment overlap. But what I'm gonna do is actually come over here just a little bit further within the preset templates and choose segment overlap. And that will then take you to a screen that looks like this. GA4 automatically populates segments, dimensions, and metrics for you in a segment overlap report right from the get. So without rehashing too much of the overview video, I do wanna give just a little bit of a quick touch point on the columns on the left. So you can see that we have these segments, which are going to be for US, direct traffic, paid, all these different segments of users. We then have a handful of dimensions that we could then look at further data for. And then we have these different metrics down here below, active users, event count, and transactions. Currently, only mobile, tablet, and age 25 to 54 are populated in the segment comparisons. And then we only have active users for the values. There are no dimensions being used. So that's gonna create a report that looks like this off to the right. I think Google specifically chooses these segments so you can have an understanding of how this report is supposed to look and how these different segments interact with each other. In these tables, you're gonna have a Venn diagram representation of the data, and you will also have a table representation of the data down below. So here you can see we have mobile traffic and age 25 to 54 and a small overlap section. And then we have tablet traffic off to the side. Since this report is supposed to show you how different segments interact with each other, it makes complete sense that tablets will not overlap at all with mobile traffic because if you're on a tablet, you are not on mobile. But you can see for this account, we do have a handful of users who are both age 25 and 54 and mobile traffic. And that's gonna be this segment of overlap right here. And as I'm going through each of these different parts in the Venn diagram, you can see that it's being highlighted in the table down below. So let's start to go through all of the different segment data sets that we have available. The first is gonna be age 25 to 54. So that's gonna be the complete circle because it's everybody who's 25 to 54, regardless with how they overlap with any other segment. We've got about 11 and a half thousand people there. 25 to 54 only, means that it is 25 to 54 and they do not fall in the mobile traffic or tablet traffic section. And that's only because this report only has those segments pulled up. But if we had, let's say paid traffic or direct traffic, some of the other segments in here, 25 to 54 only is still going to be the group of people that is only 25 to 54, but does not overlap with any other section. And you can see the visual of that because it has this little part cut out where it does overlap with mobile. The original circle was the entire thing, but when you focus on only 25 to 54, it excludes everybody in this section because that also overlaps with mobile traffic. We then have a pretty similar section for mobile traffic. So all mobile traffic, mobile traffic only. And then we have our first combination where it highlights just the mobile and 25 to 54 traffic. There's a little over 500 people there. 
which is why that segment is relatively small, visually small in the Venn diagram. We then have tablet traffic, which is pretty small by itself, and then the combinations of all of the other types of groups. So mobile and tablet, tablet and age 25 to 54, and then the overlap of all three, and those just don't have any data, but they will always show up at the bottom because they are possibilities that could be eligible in this report. So that's what your segment overlap report will look like from the default. But what are the ways that we can customize this report to get a little more data out of it? The first thing we can do is start to add in breakdowns. So let's say, just based on these different dimensions that we have in here, let's say we wanted to check the different country that people were in because we're not using that segment of US users. So I'll just drag and drop country into the breakdown section. And now the visual of the Venn diagram looks about the same, but we have quite a few new columns and the rows are now the country that we have instead of the different segments. So here you can see, and it's kind of hard to see, even if I do close these down, it doesn't really widen this very much. So it's a little bit of a pain, but that's one of the ways that it's really useful that when you hover over something, it highlights the segment for you. So if you can't reach it all, you can figure out that that one's mobile traffic and this one's mobile traffic only just by the way that the Venn diagram adjusts. But here you can see how each of those different overlapping groups or solo groups that we looked at earlier is broken down by country. Obviously this is a very heavy United States account. So we've got the majority of the traffic in the US, but we do have some overlap in India, Canada, Pakistan, lots of different places around the world. Let me open these back up real quick, get our variables and our settings back in here. Let's say instead of country, we wanted to look at the event name that somebody was doing. So I'll remove country as a breakdown, pull event name in, and now we've got a little more data to work with. Quite a lot of different events that are happening in all of these different segments. One thing I like to do with this is utilize the event name, but then filter for specific actions that we have. So if you come down here and filter, filter for event name. And then in this account, we are constantly trying to find anybody who requests a demo. So I'm gonna say any event that contains, and then type in demo. That's going to include all of the conversion actions that we have that have demo. Click apply. And now we can see the report broken down by just demo request event actions. Currently, no demo requests for mobile or tablet traffic, and a lot of them are in a smaller age bracket, and only a handful in the 25 to 54 age group. Now, one thing is that I've worked on this account for a while, and I know over the past month, we've had more than 41 demo requests. But remember, I only have mobile, tablet, and age 25 to 54 selected here, and not every user is gonna be added into an age bracket. So let me go ahead and change some of the segments that I have here, which is gonna be one of the other types of augmentations we can make. So let's say I don't wanna look at tablet and age 25 to 54, so I'll delete those. And instead, I wanna pay attention to all US users and paid traffic. All I had to do was drag and drop those in there real quick. And now we start to see a different visualization because we have different overlaps of US users and paid traffic, but we also see a lot more of those demo request actions. So when you're going through and adding any sort of filters or changing any of the metrics you're looking at, make sure that you're looking at the right segments that would actually include all of the data that you would need. The last adjustment we can make is going to be to add in different metrics. So right now it defaults to active users and it will always retain active users because right now this is telling us that we've had 381 demo requests of this specific event for the active users in the US only. But that is the active user count. That is not the event count. So if I wanna add in event count to my values, now we see a different number with 456 out of 1,281 events for US of the demo request rollup for US and any other traffic combination. But you'll notice when I added in the additional values, we just got a new column. So now we can see active users next to event count. And I could add in even more metrics if I wanted to, and it would just add an additional column to show me the breakdown. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and click out of event count, and I'm gonna remove the filter for demo, just so we have a little bit more data to work with. Now you'll notice once I did that, the chart changed a bit, and now mobile is showing up. Earlier, it was only showing the paid traffic and US overlap, and it wasn't showing mobile. That could be because of the filters that I had in place, but also, as much as I love these segment overlap reports, one thing I will say is that sometimes the visualization gets a little off and isn't quite perfect. This is a pretty new tool from Google, so be patient with it. Sometimes if the chart doesn't look the way that it should, just hit a hard refresh on your computer and it usually takes care of the problem. 
One thing I found really useful as I am trying to analyze performance for different segments within my accounts is something that you might have noticed earlier when I was hovering over the table. So if I come down here and hover over this section here, there's a little pop-up that says right click on visualization to interact with data. So if I right click, I can either create a segment from this selection. So let's go ahead and do that. And now there's a predefined segment builder that talks about having the country ID as US and a page view which is going to be essentially the same as US, but I could adjust this however I want to, to create an entire new segment. Maybe I need to click on a different one to show you how useful this can be. Maybe we come over to the intersection of all three users. I will then right click on this, create a segment. And now you can see that it's predefined. The device category has to be mobile, country has to be US, and first user medium has to be CPC. And then I could click save. And now I have a brand new segment over here that is just the combination of all three of those different segments together in a single segment that I could add and use in the segment report in the exact same way that I use all of the others. So if there's anything that looks interesting in here that you want to further investigate, all you have to do is create a new segment out of it, pull it into the report, and then adjust however you would to get any other insight out of it. Now there was one other option when you right click on some of these segments. So let's come back to the same one. We're gonna right click, we're gonna click view users. We now have a new set of settings over here and it's going to be basically the custom segment of what we just created, even though it created it on its own. And there's a new segment down here. It retained a lot of the different dimensions, pulls in new metrics that you can look at and it created an entire new tab for these users. So now the only thing that I want you to notice is that it changed the technique away from segment overlap it is now a user explorer tab. So if we wanted segment overlap is up here, but this is pulling into a user explorer. What this does is it pulls in the effective user ID as well as the stream name, which is just going to be basically your data source. And then you can have all of the different metrics that you want in here. It's already pulling in active users and event count, and it's going to predefine your effective user ID and the stream name, and then any of the metrics that it's already pulled in. I'll be fully transparent. I don't totally know how or why we would want to create a user explorer tab. I'll look into it. Maybe we'll have a video on it in the future. But if you click into any of these, you'll then get a new tab and you can see all of the user behavior that happened, where they're from, what different pages they looked at, what the different events were on the site, and if they made a purchase and how many transactions, all that good stuff. But that's enough of that. We're focused just on the segments for right now. But that's pretty much how a segment overlap report works. Based on any of the available segments that you can build, the dimensions you can review, or the metrics that you can analyze, there's a lot of different insights you can gain from how certain segments of users overlap or are completely separate from other segments. Now, one thing I will note is that when you find something that's interesting like this and we created a custom segment, you can click on the three dots, click edit, and if you wanna take advantage of an insight that you have, you can come up here really easily and check the box next to build an audience. You then get to add a membership duration, you can create a new trigger, and you can save and publish an audience directly from the segment overlap report that can then be exported into your Google Ads account so you can start to target it with your ad campaigns. So depending on what you find in here, you might find a really cool custom overlap of people who interact with one conversion action, but not another. And then you can push them to that next conversion action or people who have purchased two complementary products, but don't have the third, whatever makes sense for your business. But just remember each one of these different segments that you build in the segment overlap report, if the audience is large enough, can be targeted through Google ads. And even if you don't target the users specifically based on the actions they've taken, you might start to lean into some of their different behaviors and augment your different messaging and ad creative to speak to them a little more specifically rather than having a blanket message. There's lots of ways you can customize your advertising based on the insights you can gain from a segment overlap exploration. So I encourage you to click around, find out, see what interesting insights you can find for your business, and then start to leverage them in your account. If you have any other questions about the segment overlap exploration, explorations in general, or if you found a really cool way to use it that you wanna share with the group, tell us all about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.